Hello and welcome to day number 14 of my personal projects advent calendar and today we're going to take a look at the first lab power supply that I built and it's this wonderful box over here as you can guess from the many ports in front it is based on an ATX power supply I think it's around 250 watts or maybe 350 um, so let's turn it on after turning it on we see we get a standby light here and we can turn the main power supply on now. Now you'll hear the fans kicking in. Oops, let me disable that. Um, and now we have a couple of fixed voltage outputs here. Uh, simply the 12 volt rail, 5 volt rail, 3, 3 volt rail. Then over here we have I think negative 12 and negative 5. And then we have this last one here which is a manually adjustable one using this potentiometer here. For some reason the, the meter isn't working anymore. I'm not sure what the problem is, but if I connect a multimeter, you can see that I can adjust the voltage anywhere from about 10 volts down to millivolts you yeah, are pretty much down to zero so that works but for some reason the readout is broken right now and you can see it flickering and yeah no, just not entirely sure what's wrong with it okay so let's take a look inside to open it up we just I need to unlock this first because this was based on an old CD cabinet and then we can just open the side okay first thing that fell out is a 9 volt battery block and that is required because um, this voltmeter here on the front needs a let me turn this off uh, because this uh, DC voltmeter on the front requires a different power supply from the one that it's measuring so let's take a look at the mess um, of course in the back there you can see the main power supply then here on the right is the uh, is the heatsink and fan for the adjust, uh, adjustable output. It's a simple linear dropper. Um, somewhere in this mess there should be a little uh, barrel board with an op amp and some passives on it for the voltage regulation. So it's not a voltage regulator, it's passively built using a Darlington NPN transistor and, uh, and an op amp. Also down here we have a fuse box, so each rail is fused. Um, probably fairly high even because I mean ATX power supplies they have a lot of power what else is here you can see um, the power supply I didn't cut up the power supply everything is nicely back there's the other connector uh, nicely just plugged in so I could swap the power supply if I wanted here we can see the back of the panel meter um, and of course there in the front there's the pot for the manual voltage adjust Turn it around. Here you can see the cutout for the fan. That's the noisy one, by the way, because if we just turn on the power supply on its own, it sounds like this. Just a nice quiet hum, but if we turn on the adjustable one, yeah, that's noisy. Okay, I think that's about it. Thank you very much for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye.